welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to look at the rules the formulas for solving problems on convex and concave mirror please watch this video to the end i will start with the rules then go straight to the formulas the four formulas you need to know in solving this problem and then do calculation examples and also point out the uses of concave and convex mirror and also tell you the difference between concave and convex mirror okay let's go right into the video the first rule i want you to know is that For convex mirror, one, the focal length F is negative. The focal length is negative. The image distance, the second rule is that the image distance, let's use U, V, is also negative. That's for convex mirror. But for concave mirror, for concave mirror, F is positive and the image distance is also positive. So once you know these two things and have it in mind, that for concave mirror, F is positive that's the focal length and the image distance is positive for concave mirror in solving calculation once you see anything virtual it means you're going to have the distance of the image or object to be negative but if it's real real you're going to have either the image distance or the object distance to be positive these are the rules you need to have in mind in solving problems on convex and concave mirror now let's look at the shapes how does concave mirror look like and that of convex mirror let this be the reflecting surface if we have it coated like this at the back if we have it coated and bulging out this one is convex mirror. But if we have it like this as a reflecting surface and coated this way at the back, we'll have it to be concave mirror. Then let's look at the formula. The mirror formulas I need you to know is the first one, the first mirror formula is that 1 over F is equal to 1 over U plus 1 over V. This is the focal length. Remember that for convex mirror, focal length is negative. For concave mirror, focal length is positive. U, the object distance. V, the image distance. Then the second formula, you can have F to be U, V over U plus V. Remember the first formula, the second formula. Then another thing you need to know is the radius of curvature is 2F, 2 times the focal length. I used to tell my students, someone felt 2 times 2F, R is equal to 2X. So that when you are looking for F, it will be R over 2. Then number 4, that is magnification, is equal to V over you that's image distance over object distance so let's apply this in solving problems the image of an object is located 6 cm behind a convex mirror if its magnification is 0 0.6 calculate the focal length of the mirror so we are going to solve this let's write out all the parameters we have it to be a convex mirror so v is minus 6 cm then magnification m is 0 
we are looking for f question mark we are looking for calculate the focal length of the mirror so to get the focal length we don't know the u let's get the u using n is equal to v over u let's cross multiply so that u will be v over m u will be v over m when you make you the subject of the formula you have v over m so u will be v is minus 6 over 0 0.6 that will give us minus 10 cm then finally we are going to apply this formula that f is u v over u plus v u is minus 10 times v is minus 6 over minus 10 plus minus 6 so that we are going to have it to be 60 over minus 16 and that will give us minus 3.75 cm so we have this as the final answer let's look at the second example an object is placed in front of a concave mirror whose radius of curvature is 12 cm if the magnification of the image produced is 1.5 how far is the object from the mirror let's write out all the parameters we are giving we have r giving r as 12 cm magnification as 1.5 u that's what we are looking for how far is the object object distance u is what we are looking for how far is the object from the mirror so write out everything then let's solve for v let's solve for v using m is equal to v over u if you cross multiply v will be u times m that's u times m is 1.5 that will give us 1.5 u we have gotten our u so let's we have gotten our v let's use f let's apply the formula f is equal to u v over u plus v before we look at this formula remember that r is 2f so f will be r over 2 which is 12 over 2 that's 6 cm so f is 6 is equal to u u times v is 1.5 u over u plus 1.5 u we'll put back everything remember this is the letter y u times 1.5 u that will give us 1.5 u squared over 1 u plus 1 point that will give us 2.5 u 1 u will cancel 1 u so that we have 1.5 1.5 u over 2.5 6 is equal to 1.5 u over 2.5 if we go ahead and solve 1.5 u is 6 times 2.5 so that u will be 6 times 2.5 over 1.5 and that will give us 10 cm concave mirror they are used as shaving mirrors they are used as shaving mirrors and also they are used as reflectors in telescope and microscope in telescope and microscope that is one advantage of concave mirror why convex mirror are used as driving mirrors 
they are used as driving mirrors because they have a wider field of view they give a wider field of view but there is an, a disadvantage and this disadvantage is that convex mirror gives false impression of the actual distance it makes the the objects to appear smaller than it really is so it is a disadvantage thank you for watching this video please remember to like this video subscribe to this channel and turn the bell notification for more videos thank you